Hello and welcome to my playthrough of the outer of Outer Wilds. I have made that mistake every single time I tried saying the name of a game. It's a really, really good experience. I love this game. I've only played like a couple of hours yesterday. Well, let's say a couple of hours. I started off playing and just played like four hours or something like that. It's crazy. Why did I wake up? You have to wake up twice. So there's a lot of stuff happening at the very beginning of the when you spawn in. Okay, so there were lots of threads to the story we were pulling on. Unfortunately, when I was exploring the Hanging City, uh, my RTX voice cut out again, which is not what we want. But let's see what we want to work on. The vessel. <clears throat> oh wow, there's so much stuff. Yeah, you can see we found a lot of things. Let's get here. Uh, the North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There's a uniquely shaped Nomai rune on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp there from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. <clears throat> Very interesting. So apparently I missed something there, which is... I don't know. <laughs> and here... Um, what What is this? Uh, we were trying to uh, one of the three Nomai escape, bo uh, escape pods that crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the vessel, which was badly damaged. Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm really interested to see what the vessel will look like and where it is. And, oh my god, I love this game, it's just so much fun. Um, the Nomai warped to the solar system in a spaceship called the vessel. They were attempting to follow uh, a signal from the eye of the universe. The vessel crashed somewhere on thin dark bramble. Oh, okay, so we know where it is. One of the three Nomai escape pods never made it out of dark bramble. Okay. One of the three Nomai escape pods landed somewhere on the hourglass twins. Ah, we haven't found that one yet. Okay, so I want to work on currently the signal that's on this planet, Timber Hearth, because it's not the. This is one of the uh, quantum entang. Uh, no, not quantum entanglement. The quantum stones that switch position that live on a qu quantum plane or something like that, and whenever you look at them, they're in a different position. <clears throat> um, so there has to be a better way but also there has to be another one of those on this planet okay so we have another uh, thing to look for we're gonna look for the quantum fluctuations first and See if I can remember how to fly this thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a little bit. There's a signal somewhere. There's a signal there. How far is it? 500 meters. So seems to be on this planet, but on the other side. Seam of shard is 800 meters, and there's a second one closer. So, I'm gonna try to find that one. Oh, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Okay. Okay. Don't think I've ever been here before. So, let's ex. That's probably where it is, too. So, let's explore. Through there nice and gently. I'm getting better at flying. Right? I love it. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay. So. 
Oh, that's still like very far away. But I still want to explore this place. Because it could be cool stuff here. And anyways, it seems to be way closer. I don't know how big these plants are. Oh, yes, actually I'm in the right place. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? That is you, my friend. Grove shard. Hello, and it's gone. I, I love that, it's really cool. Okay, so we have identified it. It's here, there's more stuff here. It's, it's always dark, the quiet shade. Across the bark in the ancient glade. And it's gone. No, it's not gone. It's gone? It's gone. Okay. So we found the signal on this place. I wonder if there's more to explore here. I don't know. It doesn't really look like it. This is a nice place though. I have to say. Well, Mr. Shard. Okay, so we found two of the three, I think. Also, playing this game kind of wants, it makes me want to play uh, The Long Dark again, and I'm definitely going to do, be doing that. I'll just go in here, maybe there's something in the water. No. Okay, so I think... don't see anything else here, but I can get up here. Okay, maybe I can't, maybe I'll die. No, I didn't die. Kind of wanting to play Dirt Rally today, but then I... Like five minutes in this game and I'm already smiling. I don't know. It's just... This game is just so awesome. And I'm sad that the voice over cut out a little bit yesterday but at the same time I watched the watched the videos a little bit and they were just so it's just so beautiful just look at that this is awesome church research notes property of church I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater it's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon uh, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related we don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal in the grove will reveal more about it. Okay, yeah, we've done that. That's pretty nice, pretty nice. Wait, is that the grove we've just been in? Yeah, I think so. Well, I'm gonna find out anyways because I accidentally am gonna... Ouch. That, that hurt. It didn't, doesn't seem to have reduced my health at all. Okay, that's one way to do it. No issue. Perfect landing. Oh my god. That's weird. Okay, so let's see. We found it. Quantum Moon. I still don't know what that is, but church research notes mention a quantum moon that has that no Earthian has ever been able to land on. And what does it say about? There is a strange rock shard in this grove that come uh, that moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal on the quantum fluctuation frequency. I found a poem written on one of the trees in the grove. Okay, so we are missing one more. Giant Steep, and I've never been to Giant Steep, so I'm very excited to see what it's like. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Giant Steep. I guess it's a. I, I know where Giant Steep is. Don't really. Oh, headlights are on. 
and it's only eight kilometers away. So at five, I should start braking. There's that thing we always see in the very beginning. Uh, what is that? Can I land on that? It's a destroyed craft of some sort. No, no, no. Oh shit. Uh, what is that? I crash into the ball of giant. I don't know how close I am to it. Wait, that's just. I can't tell how close I am, it's just... Oh, that was close. Oh, I think... I don't know how close I am to the... It's really hard to tell how close you are to the planet because it doesn't really... show much. What do I do with this thing now? Looks like my technology. Maybe it's a piece of the vessel? Or did they say they had a did they say they had a can I land? Well there's no gravity I guess since much. What if I get out here? This bad thing a bad thing's gonna happen. Just gonna risk it for the biscuit. Okay, so we're on the spaceship. I think this might be part of the vessel. I don't know though. There's a tractor beam back there. I don't know what that maybe it lets me get inside of the vessel. Oh, it's not the vessel. <clears throat> it pushes me away. It's not what I want. No, I want to go back. You have my ship. Bring it back. Okay, so this thing repels me. That means I'm not gonna. Ooh, there's. What is this? It's a thing. So this is a big boy. Don't know what to do with this thing yet. Also don't want to die in space again. Oh, that's more spaceship. Okay, so I don't think we can get inside of that thing yet. Oh god. Okay, I think I'm just gonna hope my spaceship stays put and get back on that bad boy. And then maybe find out what this thing is or what we should do with it in the future. I'm very surprised that uh, the spaceship stayed put for that long. I think this, this looks like something we have to deal with in the future, maybe? Maybe not oh god yes yes get down okay how is it i'm alive okay okay so far so good so oh this is not what we want okay so we are oh okay that is cool. That is just unbelievably cool. 
there's a water tornado here and it does pull me with it okay so if I go very deep here there's something that attacks my boat I guess it's kind of scary what's that can we land yeah, I really have to put my boat in the water let's see what's just going on down there okay so there's a doesn't let me dive any deeper than this. I'm stuck on something. Okay. okay, I'll just stay here. This landing. Hope no octopus or. I don't know. Can I even get out here or will I just get destroyed? I think my boat sink. My boat. My thing in the jigger sink. Going to the eye of the hurricane. No, it doesn't let me do that. That is so incredibly cool, I have to say. That is. There, there are multiple of those things. Okay, so what if I. What if I land? Okay, what if is this supposed to make me land there? Or is it supposed to repel? I think this is supposed to make me land safely. Yes, perfect. I am full. Nice. Okay, let's go. Whoa. So, yeah, this pushes me down, and I think this holds my ship in place too, so that's very nice. Uh, let's get uh, tower shark, is not what I want. 700 meters. So let's first check out what's the haps here. What is this thing? That is whatever is up there. <clears throat> and what's this what's broken up there? So we have a scroll and we have a scroll hole. So I think I should put the scroll bit stuck on this thing. Let's put the scroll in the scroll hole. That would be best. One second. I have a cooling pack on my legs and then we can switch that from time to time, unfortunately. Okay, so... Let's see. I'm being tornado. Oh, this is it! We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready for... Uh, ready to send it into orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. Holy sh... Shit. Now we're in space. Hello, space. What? Dude, this, every time I think this, every time something completely new and awesome happens in this game, and we're gonna crash back down. Okay. Does this happen per periodically? Can I get back up and not be eaten by a monster, please? Oh. Okay, so we are inside. Now we're in space again. Uh, okay, I. That's why my ship is being held in place. So orbital probe cannon. Am I gonna fall down again? Or am I staying in space this time? No, we're falling down. I can't, I can't hold on to anything. Oh, this is a safety shelter, right? Okay, whatever. Okay. Uh, I also want to change something because I think it's cooler. Translator. Uh, translator equipment. Wait. 
I think this is also cool. I hope the ship's still there, but I think so. I think that's exactly what that thing is for. Yeah. Keeps the ship in place. I want to disable pausing the game. It might seem not important. Oops, I went back. I don't want disable everything i just want i want the game to be running at all times like to to be dude this is just insane man. this is so much so awesome okay it's kind of messing with my frame rate i can't really tell because the uh, thing doesn't Work, but I feel like the frame rate is not what it's supposed to be. Yeah, the, the game does have amazing music. I, I've been listening to the soundtrack for a while now, before I even started playing the game. Just like when I'm working and stuff, I, I just always have the soundtrack playing. I used to, and I still do, uh, use the Missionarium soundtrack, but it's just awesome. Just so relaxing. Um, finished building the final orbital, uh, the final orbital probe cannon, uh, cannon module, and are ready for orbital. So, okay. So the question is, why did they build it, and what's it for? Uh, our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. Uh, I have given up hope, but truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Uh, if I know my brother, Evans and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under such strain. I suppose we give Evans and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. So I think the cannon is uh, is there to penetrate the inner layer of this planet. So you kind of uh, so you can shoot. I think if I went out there and used my own little probe, I don't think I think it bounces off the. Yeah, it doesn't go any deeper than that. So this, uh, so I think the probe can is there just to go to the center of the planet and find out what is there. Uh, okay, so this is in uh, thanks to the construction yard. In respect to that, are you going? Uh, are you going gelatinous on us, love? Uh, I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avon's behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the Orgel's probe cannon. Okay. So, we figured out what it is, not really what it does, but I think, yeah, I think I know. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that, which I, I think I can ah, back. Oh god! <laughs> I think I can just. This is unbroken, so I can probably just walk over there. Hope we don't get launched into space for now. The, hor the horizontal rain is also pretty awesome. I wonder if we have any more. 20 minutes, 26 seconds ago, long range probe successfully launched uh, from the orbital probe cannon. But I can't be right. Uh, I think we're about to be tornadoed. Yes. I need to get into a trip. No, I want a tornado shelter. Okay, apparently there's no oxygen in here. Which also makes sense because we're in space now. Oh boy. 
Okay, I think I'll just go back to... Yeah, that was actually the right time. Oh, what's happening going on in the water? I have bad news, Evans. Are we gonna get Okay. I have bad news, Evans. Yarrow says there there was a problem with the proposed power source. So the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb there, here, Kazava. I need to keep an eye on that. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on un unidentified hiatus. What's happening? That is new. Is the sun exploding? The sun may be exploding. Yeah, the sun is exploding. Well, well, we did learn a lot there. That's pretty nice. Okay, I think like in my next life, I'm just gonna go right back to where I was and find out more. <laughs>